Don't know why you left me bleeding With a broken heart to me if I deserve this feeling I thought that you know That we had something special Till you end up all this way This one on the doorstep. I don't know it's for who. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe someone was supposed to deliver it uh, to another house or my neighbor's house, but he delivered here. Cause my husband is not around. If my husband was around, maybe I could just guess. Uh, he's the one who put it there. I've just opened the door and the gift was someone not actually rang the bell. As, I don't know if you heard, but someone rang the bell. I was just here with my girls trying to play with my girls. And we had someone rang, uh, ringing the bell. So when we went to open, we found this one on our doorstep and no one was around there. So I don't know it's my surprise for my husband. But I doubt because my husband is a country. So I don't know. Maybe he's the one who sent this uh, to me. I don't know. Maybe he wants to surprise me. But I will call him to find out if uh, he's the one who sent this gift for me before I open. Because I can open this gift and it's not mine. Maybe it's someone delivered to a wrong door. It's on my left hand side, I have a neighbor. On my right hand side, I have a neighbor. So maybe someone delivered this to a wrong door. Today is 14th February. I don't know whose Valentine gift is this. So I'll just keep it uh, here. Then uh, I'll just, I don't know if you can see it. Then I'll try to, to call my husband and ask my husband if He's the one who sent it for me because as you can see guys it doesn't have any name on it i'm surprised i don't know it's for who maybe it's for my neighbor let me keep it here maybe someone will come to claim it someone might come to claim it guys 10 years later hi family welcome back to my channel if you are new here please consider to subscribe i'm susan velesi and today's video guys it's a uh, it's kind of a different video from what i normally do because uh it's uh to cut a long story short guys today is 29th of february is the last day of february and i decided to do this video because on fifth on 14th of february which is valentine day on 14th of february which is valentine day i was amazed or shocked because uh, i had someone and uh, ringing uh, my house bell the bell i had someone ringing the bell so i went to open the door actually i was playing with my kids and i was shooting another video here there's a video that i was shooting here with my kids but uh, i haven't uploaded it i'll upload it after this one guys so we were just here shooting a video and we were playing with the kids so and we had a bell ringing so i went and opened the door and guess what guys i found someone has have left a gift on the on my doorstep i found a gift on my doorstep and it was covered by a red light actually it's here let me show you so this is the gift that i found on my doorstep guys it's a beautiful gift with a flower here guys so I, don't, I thought maybe my husband has sent me this gift, but of course I know my husband when he buys for me something, he'll just come and give me direct. He doesn't waste all this time wrapping it like this. So guys, I, <laughs> yeah, it's not that romantic just as in just buying something, putting in the box, wrapping it. My husband is not that kind of a person. He'll just buy a gift and bring it to you. Maybe you just put in a bag and give it to you, but not this. This is too much. So I found this one on my desk, my, my doorstep, and I didn't open. I called my husband. My husband was not around because my husband was uh, went to a country uh, in the village or in the village, guys. My husband was not around during Valentine's Day. So I thought maybe he sent me this gift, but I called him and he told me that he didn't send me anything guys can you imagine he didn't send for me anything so i knew this gift is not mine if it's not from him then it's not mine so i thought maybe it was uh, by mistake someone came and placed it on my doorstep 
uh, maybe it was for a neighbor or uh, someone and it was brought uh, on a uh, wrong door so I just kept it uh, there for quite some time I was waiting for someone to come and ask or claim it I was uh, waiting for someone to come and claim the gift but guys since 14th of February is uh, today is 29th of um, 29th of February and a no one has come to claim this gift guys and even I'm scared to open because my husband is already here he came back from the village and he's here and he told me this is not from him so I'm 100% sure that this is not from my husband so I really don't know who sent me this gift or who placed this gift on my doorstep but today I decided to open because it's the last day of uh, February so I decided to open it I want to open it guys and I want to open it with you guys and uh, let's open it and find out what is in, in this box what is inside this box guys let's just open this and find out what is inside here I don't know because uh, the person didn't even write a name here it's just like that no name so guys uh, let's open and see what's inside so guys uh, here is the gift I want to, I want to open this gift with you guys because hey, I'm even scared and no I have the kids to take care I have the, my children to take care of I don't have to risk my life because I really don't know and no one has called me and told uh, and told me like or asked me have you received the gift that I sent to you no one have called no one have confirmed he sent the gift to me so guys I want to be careful hey let me take the gloves and the mask because I don't know what's inside the box though the box is light it's not heavy it's light so let me take the gloves and the ma then the gloves and the whatever So guys here <laughs> let me actually take two <laughs> guys I'm going to use gloves I can't risk this I'm going to use gloves to open this because I really don't know what is inside I don't know who sent this one to me I really don't know and I don't want to risk anything guys I don't want to risk my life I have the I have my kids to take care guys i have i've put on the mask uh, the gloves or the gloves now i have my mask here i want to wear my mask because just to to be careful guys So guys, there's another box inside of this box. There's another box. Hey, hey, it's getting more scary, guys. Inside this box, I found this box. Let's put that one down and let's now focus on this one. Let's open this one. I think the last box. So guys, uh, let's open and see what's here. Let's open, guys. Let's open this one. Okay guys, it's because I'm using the front camera, maybe the words are upside down, but it's saying with much love from me. It's written here from much love from me. I don't know who's 
Hey, let's open, guys. I'm more, more scared because even he didn't write his name or she didn't write her name here. Hey, so guys, let's continue opening this and find out what's inside. Guys, I'm so scared. Should I open or not? I don't know how to open this. Oh my goodness, guys. let me cover the number it has a number down here it has a number down here and it's written love call me please love call me please and it has a number here guys that's not all do you know what's inside do you want to see guys Can you believe this, guys? Can you believe this? Let's count how many are there. Let me count, guys, and find out how much is this. <laughs> this is shocking, guys. Who sent me all this money with this economy of Kenya? Surely. This one, I can't leave it. I mean, guys, this is 20,000 Kenya shillings. 20,000 Kenya shillings in a box. With a phone number to call, guys. It has a phone number to call, but guys, I don't want to call this number. Then I'm being told you are registered, you are in blacklist or something. Eh? You are now on the blacklist. I won't call this number. But I can't leave the money. Okay, I'll try to use 1,000 for something and uh, to see if it's going to affect me because actually I don't know who sent this. I have this number here and I'm even scared to call this number, guys. I'm so scared to call this number. Or just leave a comment. What should I do if it were you? Will you have called this number? Because me, I'm so scared to call this number because I don't know who is this person who have sent this money. And what if you call this number and you're being told maybe you are... I don't know. I don't know. What should I do, guys? Just leave a comment and let, tell me what to do. Tell me, should I use this cash? It's 20,000 Kenya shillings. 20,000 Kenya shillings, guys. That's a uh, two hundred dollars. Two hundred? No, not two hundred dollars, guys. That's too much. It's around two hundred dollars. It's around one hundred and fifty dollars. It's one hundred and fifty dollars, and a U.S. dollars. One hundred and fifty U.S. dollars or a twenty thousand uh, Kenya shillings. Twenty thousand Kenya shillings, guys. And uh, the person have left here not for me to call her, but I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm not sure if I'm going to call this number. Please uh, let me know if it were you. Would you have called this number? Hmm? <laughs> this is a stalker, guys. I guess it's a stalker. A gift from a stalker, guys. Please, guys, just leave a comment and uh, let me know. If it were you, would you have used this money or uh, should I call this number? Should I call this number? Should I use this money? Just leave a comment and let me know, guys. I don't know. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate, guys. Pray for me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to survive this.
this. I've tried to protect myself, guys. Bye. See you on our next video.